One of the hottest cameras to film with these days is actually not a video camera, but it's a stills camera, a DSLR. Main difference with a normal camera often used by video journalists is the depth of field and the crunchiness of the images that come out. But the big issue to film with DSLRs is audio. Yeah, as you can hear, the microphone that comes with the DSLR is not doing the best job in the world. Although the images are great, the sound is rather poor and does not live up to the standards of broadcasting these days. And to solve the audio problem, there are several techniques. Um, and to be honest, I've only bought my DSLR a couple of months ago, so I'm not the biggest um, DSLR expert in the world. Uh, and, and some people are. Uh, for instance, my very dear friend, Mike Krauss. Hey. Hi. Hey, Mike. Uh, Mike used to live in England, he used to work for the BBC. Now he moved to New York, still making great films. So, Mike, please tell me all about the DSLR audio business and stuff. Well, since the DSLR audio recording is not so great... Yeah, why is that? They, 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 why don't they come with better microphones? Well, when they designed these cameras, they really had the photographer in mind, not, not so much the videographer or the filmmaker. Um, so they didn't put all the efforts into perfecting the audio recording. Uh, since the DSLR has taken off in the film world, we're starting to see improvements, new cameras out with better audio, but we're still not quite there yet. Yeah, so what we're left with is the internal microphone, which produces sounds that are a bit dodgy. <laughs> yeah, is that a technical term, Mike? Oh, absolutely. Okay, dodgy. Okay, I know somebody who could help us explain why this microphone is so dodgy technically. Guten Tag, Klaus. Yes, this is Klaus. Klaus, this is uh, Mike. Hi, Mike. Right. Klaus, we were talking about why the microphone of DSLR is so dodgy, technically. Why is that? Uh, I assume DSLRs are simply not made for this. So the microphone came in at a very late point in time. Housing is not dedicated and um, the electronics is packed within a housing of a DSLR. So a microphone has a very tough life inside the small housing. And why does the small housing affect the quality of the sound? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, there is no space for, for shock mount or, or any uh, proper positioning of the microphone. But also, I would assume that with all the electronics and the digital stuff that's going on inside this, such a small housing, um, there's a good chance of interference to the microphone. So um, whenever you have a chance to get the microphone out of the camera, I would think that's the best way to go. Right. Is, is that what you do, Mike, to get the mic out of the camera? Yes, that's exactly what I do. Um, I use an external recording device like this Zoom H4n, which I'm actually recording my audio on right now. Um, you can plug anything into this uh, device. You can plug shotgun, uh, radio mics, whatever you want. It records good quality sound, um, which I then bring into the edit and sync up later. Right, so you still use the dodgy sound of the DSLR to, to, to sync with. Yeah, exactly. And there's software out there that will do the syncing for you. Um, I use Pluralize, which is very popular, but there's plenty of packages that do this. Um, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it makes the life of the DSLR user a lot easier. Right, could you maybe show us the process quickly? Sure. I have a project right here that I'm working on. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I'll switch to my screen capturing software. Um, I have two sets of audio tracks. On track one and two, I have the dodgy audio that's connected to the DSLR footage. On tracks three and four, I've got the good quality audio that I recorded on the H4n on the Zoom. Um, now, when I import this sequence into Pluralize, um, Pluralize automatically knows what to sync. It'll offer me the different sequences that I have available to sync. Uh, it doesn't matter how many audio tracks you've got here, it's very simple to sync. There's actually nothing really you have to do. <laughs> All you have to do is press the button up here. It says synchronize. And hey, presto, it's kind of cool. It shows you as it's happening and it's already synced and now I'm ready to edit. Right. And you have to now delete the dodgy sound out of your sequence or you leave it? Well, no, actually, it will create a new sequence for you with the good audio attached to the um, DSLR footage. 
So the dodgy sound level is still very important. Absolutely. The better the dodgy audio, the easier it is to sync up in the edit. Okay, so the key is to get a good external microphone for the DSLR that's still flexible and doesn't show up in your image. Well, we have created a very clever microphone, um, which is uh, very small. So if you're running a short lens, it will not show up at the viewfinder. It's this oh one. yeah, it's the MKE 400. Right. And um, so with a traditional microphone, you have the interference tube, the capsule, the electronics, and the XLR connector. And now with the MKE 400, you still have the interference tube, you have the, the capsule, but the electronics is folded underneath the capsule and the interference tube. And the connector, it's uh, in the back and it's not XLR, but it's a mini jack. Klaus, how does the MK400 compare to the, the bigger shotgun mics like the MKE600? The, the small one, the 400, it's very suitable for small cameras. Um, well, the big one gives us a lot of opportunity to put in a, a bigger capsule, which means you will have less self noise. So the noise generated by the microphone, but also we could bring in the XLR3 connector and this allows you to use the phantom power of your camera to power the microphone, while on a MKE 400 you have to replace the battery every 200 hours. Right, okay, so if you want to have good sound with DSLR, you'll have to upgrade your dodgy sound to sync with and have an external device with good sound recordings and then sync it and that's it. Yes, and of course, it's just a matter of time before new technology comes out that will combine the great DSLR footage with good quality audio recording. Right, it's a matter of time. But for now, I'll try to get this system in my, uh, in my way of working. Um, okay, right. Any more questions on DSLRs or sound in general? Put them in the comment box. We'll try to get you an answer as soon as possible. And gentlemen, thank you very much. Um, and we'll, uh, yeah. Bye. Right. See yep. you later, Mike. See Cheers. you later. Bye. Tschüss. And, oh yeah, and enjoy the images of the DSLR because right. it's really cool. Okay. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.